Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the add pin command. Now the add pin and the add spotlight commands were highly demanded features that we've added to Zoom OSC Pro. And when you combine it with user groups, you're able to basically create super sources on Zoom that you can bring into a broadcast system and be able to call up any person or any group of people that you need at any time using an OSC application. So let's get right into it and show you how to set this up. So in the Zoom call, I have uh, our usual suspects, Pat, Jane, Liz, and John, and um, I am also logged into the call with Zoom OSC with uh, hide self view enabled. And um, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the Isadora media server to create super sources. And when I say super source, what I really mean is a multi pin. But when you combine multi pinning with group commands in Zoom OSC, you're actually able to call up groups on the fly, which is an extremely powerful way to use the application in Zoom OSC Pro. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is double click on the center of the canvas, and I am going to call up a OSC multi transmit actor. And we've done a tutorial on the Isadora Media Server before, if you are looking to get started with that. But anyway, I, um, I'm using the defaults here for Zoom OSC, so port 9090. So the command I'm going to use just to get us started is slash zoom slash username slash add pin. And this is the most basic way to interface with the, um, the multi-pin system. So I'm going to create a text actor. I'm going to tie it up to value 1. And I'm going to double click on my text actor and set the text. And for now, let's just do pat. And I'll hit OK on that. So what this will do when we hit this transmit button is it will add pat to the pin on the primary display. And as you see, when I click that, pat is now pinned on display one. Now, if I renamed pat to John and I fire this, you'll see that now I have a two up of pat and John. And um, this is interesting, but um, and, it, and it certainly has its use. But what I would like to be able to do is to call up Pat and John simultaneously from the set of four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another um, uh, OSC multi-transmit. And this one I'm just going to have to clear back to the gallery view. So this will be slash zoom slash me slash set gallery view. Takes no arguments. And when I fired that off, I went back to the gallery view. So you can see that my pins are still applied, but I'm in the gallery view layout. And then I'll also create a toggle for this so that I can go back to speaker view. So this will look like slash zoom slash me slash set speaker view. And if you wonder how I know all of these commands, besides the fact that um, I wrote them, uh, <laughs> it's in our user guide and you can find the information there. Uh, so you know how to reference these yourself. So um, right now on this bar, I have the ability to switch between speaker view and gallery view. And I'm just gonna hook those up to a, uh, a keyboard key so that I can just trigger them from my keyboard without having to click in the user interface all the time. So I'm going to add a keyboard watcher and I'm gonna have the S key go to speaker view. So I'm gonna hire that up to the trigger and I'm going to have a G key go to the gallery view. So now when I hit the S and the G key, we're switching between that multi-pin that we had set up before and the gallery view. Um, so another function that I know we're going to need is the ability to clear out the pins that we have. So I'm going to just, again, I'm going to copy this actor here. So I'm going to do slash zoom slash me slash clear pin. And this will clear out. You can see that the, the two pin icons will go away when I hit the clear pin button. And so you can see that we've now gone back to a sort of vanilla gallery layout. So I'll hook this up to the C key. like that. And so now I have the ability to, um, well, add anybody by typing their name into this box to a, to a multi-pin. So right there I did, I just did John. And now I can add Jane if I just replace the name. All right, so here's a two up of John and Jane. And then we can hit the S key to be in speaker view, which we already are in. So let's go to gallery view with the G key back to S. So we're switching now between the full group and the two up just with the keyboard hits. And now let's say that we don't want that group of uh, pins anymore. So we're gonna hit the C key and clear them out. And uh, now we've got uh, sort of the next stage to this, which is, well, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to have dedicated buttons. And maybe what you would do is you would create, you know, um, a button for every person, you know, that you would want to pin up. And you know that we have so many different ways of, of interfacing with people in Zoom OSC. It doesn't have to be with their username. There's all sorts of ways that you could get this information. And there's a whole output system that you could use to populate these actors. But I'm not going to get too crazy advanced with this video. Um, but it is um, 
something that you could do if you're if you're struggling to see sort of where I'm about to go with this uh, and how to automate all of it. But anyway, the the next step to this is to be able to use a single command to pull up a group of people. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the user's macro. The user's macro combines with a target type, and when you do that, you're able to create a uh, command to fire onto a group of people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this command to be slash zoom slash users slash username add pin. And now I'm going to create multiple inputs. I'll start with two. And I'm going to change the text here so that instead of being, um, we'll, we'll leave Jane, so we'll put Jane there. And we'll hit OK. And then in the second one, we'll set up John. So now we'll be able to call up that. And uh, let me make a keyboard watcher again. This one I'll do um, the J key. How about for, for our um, Jane and John super source? I'm going to hook that up to the transmit. And now watch what happens when I hit the J key in Isadora. We've instantly called up Jane and John as a two up to have on this scene. That is extremely powerful when you combine this users group with the add pin command or the add spot command because now what you've done is you've basically created the ability to create any multi shot or a super source from the constituents from the call so this is this is a, a really popular broadcasting workflow the ability to say hey i need a two up of this person and this person and it could be a three up it could be a four up you could add as many people to this as you want and you can start to go to town with the logic here if you start to you know tie in clear pin so maybe what you want to have is a, um, you know, a, a, a set of Jane and John and then another set that's Pat and Liz and you want to be able to switch between them. Well, what you could do is you could copy this and you could change these names to be Pat and Liz. And just by changing these names, you're not going to be done yet because what this will just do, if you just fire this, if you just fire this new key and let's 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 make this trigger with the with the P key on the keyboard, you'll see that what we've done is we've just pinned everybody because um, this is an add pin command. In order to do this, you have to call clear pin first. So if I'm here on this two shot, I want to go with a clear and then I want to go with an add pin. And you can do that by just having this function call the clear pin before it calls the other function and throwing a little bit of delay on the line so that they fire in a certain order. So I'm just going to add a trigger delay and I'm going to do one one hundredth of a second delay. So it's basically instantaneous, but the order is four, so we don't have a race condition. So I'm going to hook it up so that every time I hit the J key, it's going to clear the pin and then it's going to, uh, I'm sorry, I've hooked that up wrong. I want to have this go delayed into calling the add pin, but the clear pin to be instant. So it looks something like that. And then the same will apply over here for the second super source. So I'm going to hook it up like this where this is going to go instantly to the clear pin command and we're starting to get our wires crossed here this is uh, some messy <laughs> fast Isidore programming but you can kind of start to see the idea here so again maybe it looks something like that something like that all right so what's going to happen is when I hit the J key it's going to clear the pins and then it's going to add the pins so let's toggle now between uh, let, me, let me clear out what we have let's go back to the gallery view and now let's construct some sources from what we have here using the J and the P key. So we're going to call J and we get the two up of John and Jane. And then we're going to call P and we get the two up of Pat and Liz. So we can switch at will between Jane John and Pat Liz. And um, you'll note that doing this, there is a little bit of a sort of zoom looking reconstruction here <laughs> during, the, during the reordering of the view. So it might not be that you actually want to do this cut from this view. You might want a second computer that you call up the second group on and you do sort of work in an A and B workflow between the two computers or the two views or maybe you cut to a single on the second display. You can also hide it under the gallery view that you can change the pins out there. Um, you know that could be another way of doing it but um, a lot of different options if I'm you know clearing and just pinning between these different groups now I feel like I have some sort of uh, by combining all these keys I have the ability to really just fly between a bunch of different um, sources that I want to be in so I can go back to the full screen view or the gallery view and you know when you put all of this together you end up creating a, a really powerful workflow for broadcast and again Zoom OSC Pro with the ability to multi-pin 
and to call those group commands together lets you make some really powerful controllers. So I hope this video was informative about how to do that multi-pinning workflow or the super source workflow in Zoom OSC. And feel free to check out our other videos on this channel to see even more about how to integrate Zoom OSC to elevate your Zoom performance.